This week, many students are returning to school. If you're a student and your school is using Microsoft Teams for education, this video is for you. Here are some tips and tricks to help you use Microsoft Teams for education with ease. If you wanted more information on any of the highlighted features from this video, please review the options below for self-directed training that will help you dive deeper into Teams for education. The virtual classroom allows you to access an online learning space where your teacher can host your classroom sessions and you can interact with your teacher and your peers. You can join the class in a few different ways depending on how your teacher has set up the class. First, you can navigate to your calendar and see all the classrooms that you're scheduled to attend. Select a placeholder to open the classroom invitation. Choose the Join button or the Join link to be brought into the virtual lobby. If the class has started within the next five minutes, you'll see the Join button appear on the placeholder. Select it to enter the virtual lobby. If your teacher is hosting your classroom in a channel, you can access the classroom from that channel. Open the channel and locate the invitation post. Select it to open it and use the Join button or the Join link to enter the virtual lobby. If class has begun, a Join button will be available on the post within the channel. You'll also see this video camera icon on the channel when a class has begun. When you're in the virtual lobby, you can manage your join options from enabling your audio and video, selecting your audio and video devices, and choosing your virtual background prior to entering the classroom space. While in the classroom, it's best practice to mute your microphone. When you need to get your teacher's attention, you can use the raise hand button. When you're called upon by your teacher, you can unmute your microphone here to speak in the class. To participate in the classroom, you can also use the conversation icon and type your comments and questions into the chat pane. These entries will be saved with the classroom information. If you're having difficulty following along with what's being said in the classroom, Navigate to More Actions and choose Turn On Live Captions. This will write out what is being said in the classroom so you can follow along with ease. This information will not be saved with the classroom. Assignments are a key part of your school experience. The Teams for Education environment allows you to access your assignments, create and build them, submit them, and review them once they're graded and returned to you. You can access the assignments in a couple of different ways. You can navigate to the assignment view and select the classroom you'd like to access. You can also open the classroom space and navigate to the general channel and choose the assignment tab to access the assignments for that class. You can also use the activity view to access assignments that have been distributed to you as an entry will be added each time. When you're ready to complete an assignment, select it to open it and review the requirements or the rubric if one has been attached by your teacher. To complete the assignment, you can select Add Work. From here, you're able to attach an existing document that you've created or you can build your assignment from within the Teams environment. When that assignment is completed and you're happy with the submission, select Turn In. When your teacher has graded the submitted assignment and returned it to you, you'll receive a notification in your activity view. Select the entry to be brought to the graded assignment. When you open the assignment, you'll see your results and any overall feedback your teacher has provided. 
If a rubric was used, select it to open it and review any feedback left within the sections of that rubric. The class notebook is set up by your teacher. This notebook will have three sections that you can access. The collaboration space where you can access shared classroom notes. You and your peers are able to input content into this section group. The content library is a space where your teacher can input content. The pages in this section are read only, which means you can only review the items here. If needed, you're able to copy content from this section into your own private student section group. Simply select the page and right click. Choose Copy. Now open your student section group and choose Paste. The page will be added there. Now you can edit and update that page. The student section group is your very own section that you and your teacher can access. Your peers cannot access your private student section group. This section is perfect for classroom notes, building assignments, and managing your daily school tasks. These tabs will help you insert content into your student section. The Home tab allows you to manage your typed text by offering different formatting options such as font type, bolding and italics, bullets, and more. This also allows you to use tags, which helps you group together parts of content from different pages from this class notebook and the class notebooks of all of your classroom spaces. This makes finding content in the future so much easier. The Insert tab allows you to add tables, attachments, photos, and more to the pages of your notebook. The Draw tab allows you to insert handwritten notes and draw on the pages of your notebook if you have a touchscreen device or an electronic pen enabled. The View tab will allow you to update the page color, view the various authors who may have contributed to the page, and access the Immersive Reader, which helps to increase readability of content on this page. Shortcuts and commands will help you move through Teams quickly and find content easily. Here are some of our favorite shortcuts and commands. Saving items in the Teams environment will allow you to quickly access those items in the future when you need it. Select forward slash and write saved. This will allow you to access all of your saved items. Use forward slash and type go to in the search bar. Hit tab and enter a classroom or channel name to jump into that workspace or channel rather than using the navigational tools. To access documents that you've worked on recently, type forward slash and write files. Your most recent files will populate here. Select a document to open it. You can change your presence by typing forward slash and writing out the presence that you'd like. Use DND for Do Not Disturb, which will prevent notifications from popping up to help minimize distractions while you're working. If chat is enabled, use the at symbol in the command bar and type your teacher or colleague's name to begin the chat. Select tab and write your message to them. Lastly, each item in the navigation pane is placed in a position. Use the control button and the position number to access its content. For example, the activity view is in position number 1. Press control and the number 1 key at the same time to open the activity pane. The Teams workspace is in position 3, so control 3 will open the Teams pane. If you want to learn more or deep dive into these highlighted features, as well as other features of Microsoft Teams for Education that can help make your school year a success, 
Review the information in the details of this video below. As Microsoft continues to bring you new and innovative solutions, which makes working together in this new virtual world better and easier, we will continue to highlight these amazing applications for you. So don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.